Well, hello everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to another Goggles Goes to Europe. And <laughs> I finally got the uh, um, Polly's uh, Stod Stobert um, skin on the uh, Ford Transcontinental and got it on the uh, default curtain cider. Or actually, this is a, an insulated trailer, not the curtain cider, but it works on the stock trailers, this particular skin. And um, yeah, it only works on the exclusive cab or the one with the closed in, no, no windows in the back. But uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool outfit. And uh, this is the updated Ford TC from Vantrace. And if we look, he did something really clever here. Watch this, watch the roof. So if you use the windows, you put the driver's window down and the back goes up, put the passenger's windows down and the front goes up. Kind of cool. So let's uh, hop inside and see what goes on in here. There it is. So we'll put that, yeah, passenger up, driver's up. You don't have to put them down real far to get it to, but we'll put them all the way down just for a little bit. Oh, we put them all the way down and it closes. Look at that. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, well, let's find a position where they're... Okay, so where is that? Where's the window? I can't really see it. Oh, halfway. See how far... Oh, right there. Oh. Trying to get it to stop just there. Okay, so the drivers... Just crack it down a bit. Oh, it's all the way down, right? Okay. Right there. All right, well, let's try that. See what it's like. See what we can see going by out that gap. All right, let's get, get on with it. Oh. Okay, lights, brakes. And so, of course, uh, this Eddie Stobert is in Carlisle, uh, so we're in Carlisle, and we've got a load to Stranraer, and uh, it's, um, oh, how much was it, 17 tons of grapes, something like that, 32,000 pounds. Anyway, let's uh, hop in and get on with it. So I just did some reading up on this truck. And uh, apparently, drivers loved it, but uh, it was built when they thought that the UK was going to li uh, lift some weight limits on roads. So they built it really heavy. It's got a really heavy chassis in it, heavy suspension. You can put a lot of weight on the back axle. And that never came through. And so the truck was subsequently quite heavy. And. Uh, it didn't sell as well as he wanted. I think there was something like 9,000 units made or something, just under. Turn but right. And the majority of them were made in uh, the Netherlands. And it's the same cab that Renault used on a bunch of their uh, R model, I think it was called. Yeah, let's see if we can how to accelerate this guy. Got my hopped up motor in here, 450 horsepower. Oh no, I stalled it. That's not gonna work. Okay, another thing in the update is uh, got this 12 plus one transmission now. So we can, uh, you know, you drive it like a 13 speed. Oh, and that was the other thing interesting about this truck when they built it. They originally, the original diesel in it was a 14 liter Cummins, which is a pretty good motor. And then they uh, eventually went to the big cab, which I believe is also 14 liters. So that's pretty cool. 
So a guy wouldn't be too far out of line putting Zmod's N14 in here. <laughs> but it's it's fine. Stab on the brakes. Okay, and now we're in the wrong lane. <laughs> oh well. Pretty cool truck. Uh, all in all, and a really nice modeling job by Vontres. Vont Ventres? Vontre? So with the 13 speed or this 12 plus one, you just drive the bottom five gears before you bring the range selector up. But once you're into the upper range like this, now you can split the gears. Keep left, then turn left. Turn left. sort of realizing with this uh, driving on the right side of the Go truck straight. is the uh, I've been driving I keep wandering too far left in the lane just just it seems weird to be over here I realized that if you can and it works on the other trucks too I first noticed it and I think Eugene Scania is if you get the line on the road coming underneath the rim of the steering wheel you're gonna be okay if you got that line over by the pillar, the A pillar, you're too far left. So I've been trying to keep the line visible on the inside of the steering wheel rim, and I'm doing better. Okay, I gotta get in that right lane. Go straight. speed limit yet. Let's get her going here. But I like the I like the mod very much. They're saying in oh what I was reading about it that the uh, drivers really liked it because at the time it was considered to have a, a very comfortable uh, cab. Popular with the uh, long haul set at the time. I think it was, uh, what was it, 75 to 84, 1975 to 1984 was its production run. Scotland, all right. Keep left, then take the exit on the left. Half of my heritage. Take the exit on the left. by just a little. <laughs> At the roundabout, take the second exit. 
I changed. I got those dots up there. Take the exit now. Instead of the big barriers. I think they look a lot better. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the map mod. We're <laughs> the the map I'm running in this profile now. Geez, I spent about an hour and a half last night putting it together from the GMC Logistics guys. Their uh, YouTube and uh, guide on it and links. And holy moly, it's a big one. Got, um, oh man, it goes all over the place. Some Eurasia stuff. Keep left. And what else? Um, Calculating route. Oh, did she say keep left? Uh, Please make a U turn. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Actually, you know what? Is there, oh, there might be a place up ahead. Calculating looks like, route. Looks like another. Looks like another traffic circle. Please make a U turn. Yeah, we're gonna do that there, sweetie. Penelope. Calculating route. Dumfries discovered. I'll see some good come of this. Please make a U turn. No, oh, I can't go there. Oh, oh, oh. Let's turn in this yard. I'll turn around in here. Calculating route. Yeah, I thought I was looking at a traffic circle on the map. Well, this looks like uh, it must be Sunday here. This is closed. Well, it says Tuesday on my on my uh, screen here. Nobody in the parking lot on a Tuesday, man. That's not good for business. Ten in the morning. Wow. Oh, holy. What the heck? That's pretty nuts. We're gonna have grape juice in the back instead of grapes. Yeah, so a uh, phone transmission, that's interesting. It's funny, I don't know exactly when I should look that up when Eaton and Fuller got together, because they... Take the exit now. They used to be competitors. And I know the two diesel trucks I owned. The first one had an Eaton and the second had a Fuller. And it was just around the time I think they combined. But my first truck was, I bought it used, I can't even remember what year it was. Uh, I think I had about, about seven years old or so. But it was, uh, they, oh, they, the roundabout, take the third exit. It was a day and Ross truck, and man, it had a lot of miles on it. I had to put a take new, the exit now. I eventually had to put a new engine in it. That cost a lot of money. Not just for the engine, but the, I had to rent a truck to keep my customers happy. So, wasn't making any money for uh, the week that the uh, Caterpillar shop had the truck. Go straight. So as soon as I got it out with the new motor, I uh, factory ordered a brand new truck with a Cummins engine and put the the uh, that one up for sale. I mean, it was the most it was ever going to be worth with a brand new motor in it, and uh, and I got rid of the that cat and I went Cummins.
I mean, you know, all things being equal, they're they're all pretty good engines, but you know, they got to be sized for the application. And I think that 3208 Cat is just way underpowered, undersized for uh, what I was doing with it. I know one of the guys had the uh, who had a truck on where I was. His was he had a 3208T, so turbocharged. It's quite a bit better. It did sound kind of cool. Yeah, so I'll have to show you, I'll have to try and remember to show you guys the map, uh, the world map we have now. Yeah, you go in, oh yeah, I was <laughs> telling you that, and then I went to the wrong turn. Um, it goes well into, like, the Middle East, and Eurasia, and uh, there's even South Korea, a little section of South Korea in it, and um, it's got, uh, you know, the Ireland, uh, map in it. It's got uh, Finnmark, uh, the, Ital the Italia mix, S south of France, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. But the problem is, I find with it, I don't really like the map, uh, the world map thing you look at. It's not exactly appealing. There was an optional one in the mod order, and I tried it, and <laughs> I liked it even more and less, so anyway, it is what it is. But boy, got to get my Marco Polo hat on and go uh, exploring. Forty k to go. I gotta phone my brother, and, uh, or actually, I guess I've got a book on it too here at home. I gotta get uh, a handle on. I keep forgetting where. Uh, well, I haven't thought about it for an awful long time. But uh, my, the Scottish side, my mom's side, her mom was a McFadden, and they were from some island on the west coast. I can't remember the name of it. It's not like a famous one, like Sky or something like that. That's not an insignificant one. And then the reed side, my grandpa is from the mainland of Scotland, I believe. I just can't remember where. My brother, if I ask him, he'd just rattle it off because he's got a mind like a steel trap. In 50 meters, turn right. Stranraer. Awesome. Well, I've got an entrance into town. Turn right. <laughs> See the ton up boys flying in there in their cafe racers back in the day? <laughs> Over that little hump. Ah, uh, looks like this is us right here. Arrived at destination. All right. Uh, I was weird that place we did our U-turn in that big. Almost turned the truck over. Holy. All right. Let's see what they're gonna make us do. Oh, along the fence again. I wonder why they think that's hard parking. Oh, I'm liking this truck. It drives really nice. Like, uh, 
I gotta talk to Von Trace about that and ask him, you know, because I don't know too many mod makers. Um, what does a mod maker, what can he do to manipulate how you feel the truck drive when you're driving the game? Because some of them, you know, steering seems a little weird. There's got to be something there. He stalls it. Ah, oh, that hero. Do you see how the mirror cracks when you stall it? That's pretty funny. Alright, here we are. Stranraer, Scotland. Cool. What are we looking for? Turn the ignition off. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the uh, map thingy pretty quick here. When we get back in the truck. That's the reason we could pay for a short trip. You know, those uh, grapes are, I guess, a hot commodity. So let's look at the world map. So, got a bunch of Iceland here, um, Ireland, of course, a whole bunch in here. I don't think I have that Norwich mod in here, but it doesn't look any different. Uh, and then there's, um, we've got all this in Norway up here, got some Finland. Looks like there's a big block missing out of here compared to what I have in some other map orders. I've gotten different profiles. And then we've got a whole bunch of uh, what Western Russia here. This goes all the way up there, way up to there. And then we've got, I don't know what these countries are. I hate to say it. I got to look it up. Like, hmm. I don't know. I should, I should know some of them. But look at all down here, because before I could only go down about here. I've done this little trip before, shows on the map. But go all the way down here. Got to look and see what these countries really are. I just don't know. I think this is Iraq right here, isn't it? Not sure. Not 100% sure. But uh, pretty cool. And... Where, where is this ball here? So it added a bunch in here. So we can go across here. There's this Turkey, I guess, Ankara. Pretty cool. Can go all the way around here. That's pretty cool. Bunch of Ukraine. Pretty amazing. And there's, uh, oh, we can go down into Romania. Yeah, and uh, there's nothing down here, unfortunately, for Africa. And then there's, I'm not going to go scroll over there. I'll get lost <laughs> on the map. Like, I wish I zoomed out so you could see more. Maybe you could zoom out further. It would be handy. But anyway, pretty darn cool. Uh, darn downside is putting it all together. Jeez, it took a, a dog's age to get that all done. But anyway, shout out to Polly for the skin. Uh, plural, the one on the trailer too, and uh, good looking uh, skin, great truck, and uh, thanks to Vontrace for that, so links to all of that will be in the description, and uh, thanks guys, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.
Bye for now.